protesters gathering outside of one of the most peaceful places in Edmonton, the library. And why? Because a drag artist was reading children's books to little kids. On Saturday, August 6, the Edmonton Public Library in downtown Edmonton held another Over the Rainbow Storytime featuring drag artist Felicia Bonet reading and singing to families. I don't believe it. This page is full of dragons. Everyone should just accept each other and love each other and, and focus on that message and focus on the love. And I was trying to just make sure that the kids got that message. EPL has held several drag queen story times since 2017, and staff say the program has been well received. Normally, every program that we've had has been really warm and welcoming and fun for the kids. That's, that's why we keep doing it. And so I would say, you know, give it a try. Um, you know, here, here at Milner, it's in an open area. It's great. You can drop in. You can test it out and walk away if it's not for you. Outside of the library, however, the scene is not so welcoming as protesters and counter-protesters face off. I find it very problematic that we have people who want to be children entertainers as well as adult entertainers. I think we need to draw a line somewhere there. Adult spaces, not public choices. I've been doing drag 25 years and some of my greatest memories at Pride and whatnot are little kids wanting pictures, little kids coming up to me wanting to share their cookie with me or telling me look like I, I look like a giant Barbie doll. I've had allies, members of the community and it's just really amazing to see everybody show up and to support the community and that we're not going to allow hate roam free in Edmonton streets. Drag artist Bonet says she's not too bothered by the protests. To try and disrupt a children's story time is like one of the most random things I can imagine someone doing with their Saturday. Like, there's so many better things you could do that don't affect children also. The parents, too, saying they are glad to bring their kids to the Drag Queen Storytime program. We try to keep our minds open about her being who she is and expressing who she is and trying not to force our own ideas about that on her. And I think it's wonderful modeling. I think it is a great opportunity, like I said before, to kind of explosion in such a natural setting. It's a safe space. Um, it's kind of you could kind of have that conversation with your child afterwards, so you're kind of present with them. The library's manager of youth services says protests like this one that happened this weekend will not stop them from continuing their drag queen story time. So the queens read on. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.